Have you accidentally replaced a file on your Mac and now don't know how to recover it? It's a common problem, especially when you're working in apps like Photoshop, Illustrator, Microsoft Office, and similar programs. Fortunately, recovering a replaced file on Mac is possible, and in this video, we'll show you exactly how. So what actually happens when a file gets replaced on a Mac? The old version is marked for overwriting and disappears from the system, it won't even show up in the trash. The new file is written to free space on your disk. On HDDs, recovery is often possible, but on SSDs, the trim command quickly reorganizes the blocks, which can make restoration much harder. That's why it's important to act fast and stop using the disk on which the file is located, before the replace data is permanently lost. When it comes to data recovery, you have a few options. Some depend on having backups, while others work with recovery software if no backup exists. Since the type of storage device and how quickly you act are critical for recovery software, we'll start with that method first. One of the best tools for recovering replaced files on Mac is Disk Drill. It scans all common Mac file systems and can restore files based on their unique signatures. Despite its powerful features, it's designed to be simple, so even beginners can use it. To get started, download Disk Drill from the official website and install it. We've left the link in the description under this video. But be careful, never install it on the same disk where the file was replaced, otherwise you might overwrite the very data you're trying to recover. Once installed, open Disk Drill. On the main screen, select the disk where your file was replaced. Double check you've chosen the right drive before moving forward. Click search for lost data to begin scanning. Disk Drill will ask you to choose a scan type, universal scan or advanced camera recovery. The second is for fragmented videos from SD cards or drones, so in most cases, you should choose universal scan. The program will then analyze your disk and list recoverable files, including replaced ones. You can start recovery as soon as the right files appear, but it's better to wait until the scan ends, then Disk Drill will also show the recovery chances for each file. When the scan is finished, you'll see a list of found files. Use filters and the preview panel to check them, then select what you need and click Recover. A window will appear asking you to choose where to save the recovered files. Pick a safe location on a different disk, never restore to the same drive. Then click Next. After that, Disk Drill will start the actual recovery process and restore the replaced files to the location you selected. When it's done, just open the folder and check that your files are back. But we have to warn you that with the free version of Disk Drill, you can only scan and preview the files. That's great for checking if your replaced file is still recoverable, but to actually bring it back to your Mac, you'll need the full license. If you're making the most of your Mac and use Time Machine for backups, you have a good chance of restoring the original version of a replaced file. This works as long as the file was included in a backup created before it was overwritten. Start by connecting the external drive that contains your Time Machine backups to your Mac. Next, open the folder where the replaced file was originally stored. Time Machine will restore the file to this location. Click the Time Machine icon in the menu bar and select Browse Time Machine Backups. If you don't see the icon, you can also open it from System Preferences. Use the arrows or the timeline on the right to move through earlier backups. Look for the version of the file saved before it was replaced. Highlight the file to preview. Finally, click Restore. The file will be recovered and placed back into its original folder. And the last method we'll cover is reverting to earlier document versions. Mac OS has a built-in versioning system that automatically saves snapshots of your documents. Apps like Pages, Numbers, Keynote, and even Microsoft Office support it. This lets you roll back to earlier versions of a file if you've accidentally overwritten it, no backup or extra software required. First, open the document where you replaced or overwrote the content. The version history is tied to the file itself, so you need to have it open. In the menu bar, click File, then choose Revert To, and select Browse All Versions. A timeline view will open, showing earlier versions of your document on the right side. Use the arrows to move back and forth through the history. Once you've found the right version, click Restore to replace the current document. Or, if you want to keep both copies, hold the Option key and click Restore a copy. If you're working in non-native Mac OS apps, the process and option names may look a little different. For example, in Microsoft Word, you'll need to click File Greater Than Browse Version History. Still, the idea is the same, you can roll back to earlier versions of your document and recover the content you need. That's it for now you know that even a replaced file on Mac can still be recovered. And while these options do exist, it's always better to be cautious and keep an extra copy of your important files rather than trying to retrieve them later. 
Thanks for watching, and good luck. If you still have questions, write them in the comments under this video, we'll be happy to help.